Hi guys. 학교 종이 땡땡땡 어서 모이자. Hi, K-pop fans and Earth friends. Today I'm wearing my glasses. Do you know how to pronounce your aunt's or opa's band name in Korean? If you're a K-pop fan and if you still cannot identify the simplest language, Korean. <laughs> um, I'm not evil. I'm just going to make it really simple. Some people might criticize my teaching, but there's no correct way of living your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Learning a second language is not that easy, but reading Korean is pretty easy. Trust me, it's going to help a lot. Chapter 1 Quick History of Korean Letters Well, I'm going to introduce you to this guy. His name is King Sejong. He made a team of scholars to create Hangul, which is the Korean letters. In Joseon Dynasty, this is going to be a quick history. About um, six, seven hundred years ago, Koreans spoke Korean, but we didn't have our own letters. So we used Chinese characters instead. But Chinese characters, very, very difficult to memorize because they're over like thousand characters or more than thousand characters so only the rich people use Chinese character to read or write something and one day this guy thought I want poor people to be able to read and write as well and so now we have him on our 10,001 money so that we uh, remember his great deeds that he did a long time ago for us. Thank you for your service. And we go to chapter 2. Composition of Korean letters. What do you mean composition of Korean letters? There are two equations and only two equations that consist one letter. So we all know there is a consonant and vowel. It's super duper easy. Just trust me and follow me, follow, follow me, 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 me. So there are two types of the composition. The first one is consonant plus vowel, obviously. Second one is consonant plus vowel plus another consonant. I'll give you an example. For example, mama, they're exactly the same letters, ma and ma, right? Ma is consisted of consonant and a vowel. Second example is a girl. I wrote girl there. You see three components, don't you see three components? Something looks like this. And something that looks like this and something that looks like this so it's three things combined together making one korean letter chapter three there are only 14 consonants oh my gosh only 14 i will show you the old-fashioned way of written consonants right here it's a long time ago it kind of looked like this it's pretty, but it's more complicated than the modern way of writing them. So, well, everyone has different handwriting, but this is not mine. This is mine. <laughs> so this version will be easier for you to recognize as well. And Korean teachers would um, teach you this as consonant plus vowel, like kanadara, mabasa, chachakata, paha. But I'm not going to do that because it only confuses you. I am just going to um, go to the sound directly. So the first one is G sound. I wrote G. Second sound is N 
sound, which is N. Third one, D, D. Fourth one, which is my name, La, L, L. The square one is M, M. Something that looks like a square but has like two horns on the top beside the square. It's B sound. So, B, B sound. And the thing that looks like the roof of a house that I also have in my name. S, 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 S. So, 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 and the circle one is pretty tricky. Um, if I I will put it this way, if you're writing or reading Korean letters, and if it feels like there's no consonant, then you should probably look. For this circle thingy, it's mm, mm, ang, mm, ing, mm, a, e, i, o, u has circles in it. Ang, eng, ing, ong, u has circle in it. So, um, yeah, that is the simpler way of um, remembering it. And the next one is J. J to to sound next to it it's ch which is ch like chicken chicken you know and the next one is k and k k k, k sound everyone knows that right the next one is alphabet letter t so t t sound and the next one is p sound pa p p p p and the last one is h Ha 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 or whoo I don't want to go too deep but there's just this thing that I want to check before we go to the next one those five letters those five consonants have the ability to double up so when they do the sound becomes more dense and stronger and they look like this the first one was g right g but now it's g like g g g g g g g g it was supposed to be g g g g g but now it's like more dense it's like g <laughs> I don't know what I mean I'm so good at teaching and uh, the next green letter a consonant which looks like a like a you know uh, this one this one used to be ta d d d d d but now it's d d d d d d d d d a d from d d d so easy isn't it and the third one was supposed to be b sound ba be bu be bo ba bo ya uh boogie night um banana um or something like that but if they uh double up the sound becomes more dense which is b po po pi pi pu 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 po po means like a light kiss in korean po po um, and the next one is s sound, and it becomes s, like sregi gatsunoma. You don't sregiya. <laughs> you guys might not know what I was just saying, but um, sista. Um, do mo ga itte, and so on. The last one was originally j sound, like um. 저기 or 저는요 or 
JYP or um, Jackson. But now it's Z. Like Zhang. <laughs> you know what I, what I mean? It, it becomes Z, 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 Z. So good at this. Ooh la la. So for example, double S becomes Sai, not Sai. Sai, not Sai. Gangnam style. Okay. This is going to take less than 15 minutes for you to master reading. Chapter 4. Vowels. If you know the 14 consonants and the vowels that I'm going to teach you, you can literally read everything. Like 90% of it. There are more exceptions, like every language has exceptions and you know, like sometimes you use it differently and blah blah blah. But other than those 10%, you'll be able to read your unnis or oppas or nunas names. Amazing, isn't it? So here we go. These are the basic vowels. Looks like few sticks randomly placed on a floor. So this might be tricky for you, but once you remember, once you remember which one is which one, you'll be fine. You'll see a lot more in K-pop. Just try to memorize this one and the 14 consonants and you'll like... You can go like, I know everything, yeah? I do, girl. So... I told you about having no consonant, so I will have to use the circle in order to say those words, uh, say those letters. A, ya, o, yo, o, yo, u, 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 i. See? I'll write it down for you. Plus, just remember these two. These two green thingies. They're supposed to be A and O, right? A, ya, O, ya, O, yo, U, 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 E. A and O can change by adding another stick on their right side. You know what I mean? Like, on the right side. I am teaching you this because a lot of K pop bands name has this two vowels so let's go stick sticky stick boom, boom. you know why i'm teaching you this because if you are uh, familiar with english this might be easier for you to realize than korean people even korean people because ah with a stick this one, you have to remember it means A. Although it sounds E and E, they sound exactly the same, like almost exactly. A lot of K-pop bands names, they all come from English. So if the spelling has A in it, you use the first one. If the spelling of the letter or the word has E in it, you use the second one. But they basically sound the same. They both sound E. For better understanding, let's think of 
two bands' name. First one is Big Bang. Second one is EXO. Big Bang has A in it, so we use the first one. EXO has E in it, so we use the second one. That's it. We're done. We're done. Everything's done. So, chapter four, we only have to practice. That's it. That is it. Yeah, yeah. See, it's super duper simple. Okay, let's do this one. I'll give you some time to think. Oh, you can't. You need the graph. Okay, I'll give you the graph. Consonant. Mm. Ma. Mm. Ma. Mm. Ma. Mm. Ma. Vowels. Find the vowels. Do you? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ooh. So what is it? Ma. Ma. Ooh. Okay, I'll give you the consonants and the vowels. I'll give you another example. We did Mama Mu. Did you find the squares? Very, very easy. Okay, get your pen ready. The first one is EXO. EXO. Not SO, but SO. You finding it? Ex Sounds like there's no consonant. At least that's what I think. Probably, I hope I'm right. So it's this one. Eh, eh. What did I just say about ah plastic and all plastic? Ah plastic is a. All plastic is E. Is EXO A or E? E. And does it have any other consonant in it? EK. EK. SO. G. And so S O. Did you get it right? I'll give you plenty of time to practice. Next one is Peak Ping. So it starts. With b sound, did you find it right next to the square? P e e e e e p p. Don't be confused with. Um, don't get confused with the k sound. Like big, this doesn't exist. It's always big. Like big, huge. Okay. Big. Bang. 
ba ba same consonant and what did i say about a plastic or a plastic bang has a in it so it's and bang it doesn't really sound like a sound then we use the circle so this is big bang next one let's try something longer let's do Momorand Ma 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 Square Mo Mo O O O Mo Momorand Thank God we have two same letters Momo Ren We don't have R or L sound We just have to combine them together It's La sound L L L Musera L L L L So this one And Lend Has A in it So Lent. You have to. S you. It's easier for you to split them into like little pieces. Mo, mo, lent. D. D sound. D. U, u, u. Stick. Isn't that easy? Okay. Try to read this one. I'll give you some time. Lastly, this one's going to be very easy. How do we write down nine mujis? Very easy. So, n, a, Na, mm, e, mm, n. See, e, n, in, m, u, mu, t, t. Na in beauty. Thank you guys. If you liked it, I think I'm going to continue to do um, 
these little Korean lessons so that you can at least write your name or read Korean lyrics sometimes. I will get your suggestions like which way we should go together or if you don't like this uh, tutoring just please leave a comment saying I don't like this tutoring, I don't like studying, I don't want to see this on your channel please, please I need your opinions and so today's lesson is done and I'm sure if you memorize the consonants and the vowels you'll be able to read 90% of Korean seriously so um, leave me a comment please subscribe my channel and uh, don't forget the notification bell and if you liked it thumbs up 안녕히 계세요 Bye everybody! Hey guys, welcome to Rootube. Uh, it's a very special place for me and I hope it's uh, also a special place for you too. Um, if you like my video, please subscribe and click like and don't forget the notification bell. Thank you!